Hello everyone, my name is Janice Daniel Cruz from STEM 12 St. Priscilla and welcome to the Skilled. I'll be your captain for today and we are going to tackle the correlation between my ship to a cell. First and foremost, what is a cell? Well, a cell is classified as the smallest basic unit of life that is responsible for all life's processes. Cells are structural, functional, and biological units of all living organisms. Now, some of you may be wondering, how is it connected to my ship? Well, it's easy. Cells are known to have different parts that functions accordingly to its purpose, and same goes for the ship. It also has functional parts, panels, and areas that serves its purposes to properly operate the ship. For all of you to be more enlightened and aware of the similarities of my ship to a cell, I have provided a map of the ship which shows the designated parts of the cell that has the same function within the ship. As your captain, I'll be responsible for touring you around my ship, and I'll make sure that you would see the resemblance between the different parts of the cell to the different areas located in the ship. Now, we are currently on the navigation. This is where most captains are because this is where they control the ship's head of direction. From the word itself, the navigation has the capabilities to navigate the ship's location and destination. Same as the nucleus because the nucleus controls and regulates all the activities inside the cell. Now moving forward, we got the shields as our cell membrane. The cell membrane is known to provide protection and structural support for the cell. It also provides a fixed environment inside the cell. The shields, in the other hand, shares the same function because it serves as an extra layer of protection and structural support for the spaceship. It separates the ship from hazardous chemicals outside and maintains a livable environment inside the spaceship. Right beside shields, we got the communication, and it can be related to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is known to be the packing station because it's responsible for processing and packing the protein of the cells into sealed droplets which can be stored and distributed to different parts of the cell. The communication is also considered as the packing station of the ship because it stores, processes, and packs certain information which would be sent out to the crewmates and areas inside the spaceship. Now I'll be guiding you to the storage. As we all can see, the storage is where there is a lot of things that are stored and saved which are essential things that the crewmate will be needing within the ship. I'd like to refer this as the vacuole because the vacuole is classified as a membrane enclosed sac known for storing essential materials. Now. Just below the storage, we got the trash that is in charge of disposing of the spaceship's trash and litters, which can be a great example for the lysosomes. The lysosomes are responsible for intracellular digestion with the help of hydrolytic enzymes stored in its membranes that are powerful enough to destroy bacteria and other microorganisms that invades the cell. Just around the spaceship, we would be able to see the wall of the spaceship. The wall is made up of titanium and aluminum, which provides protection, support, and the sustainability of life inside the spaceship. I'd refer this as the cell wall because the purpose of the cell wall is to provide structure, support, and protection for the cell to survive. Now we will be heading into electrical. The electrical is the place which is responsible for producing energy, which is the electricity. 
to have a fully functional spaceship. I'd like to refer this as the mit mitochondria because it converts food molecules into energy. It is the site of cellular respiration and the production of ATP energy molecules which gave it the title, the powerhouse of the cell. Now, as we are moving around the ship, there are these holes and air vents that the crewmates use to travel and move around the ship for them to go to their specific task. I'd like to refer them as the endoplasmic reticulum or the ER. The ER is the transport system responsible for transporting all materials needed by the cells such as nutrients, enzymes, hormones, and etc. Going further in the spaceship, we find ourselves inside the cafeteria. The cafeteria is where the food is mainly processed and it provides food for everyone on the ship. We can relate this to the ribosomes because the ribosomes are known to be the site of protein synthesis and known to produce proteins mainly for the cell organelles. Last but not the least, we got proteins acting as the crewmates. The crewmates have specific tasks given to them which they need to accomplish throughout the ship and the same goes for the proteins which are responsible for nearly every task of cellular life including cell shape and inner organization, production manufacture and waste cleanup and routine maintenance. And that would be it! I hope all of you learned the related function between the areas on the skill map from Among Us to the different parts of the cell. I hope all of you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Again, this is Janice Daniel Cruz, the captain of the ship, and I'm looking forward for you in the next flight. Thank you!